what's um what's this feel like coming down the stretch here, knowing that it's this career your career here is coming to an end? I mean, man, it's really exciting. It's really exciting, especially knowing, you know, where we're sitting at, what we have in front of us, how we hold our own destiny. And I mean, baseball this time of the year, it's just, it means that much more. And being able to be here last year and experience what it's like to be in the playoffs as a Miami Hurricane, play in that ACC tournament, host a regional, have the fans here at the light. I mean, it's exciting. We know we have a chance to do it again and hopefully some more. Having said that, how important, how big is this series here with the, with the idea? I mean, every game's important, and there, no game is more important than our next one. So we're just taking this one game at a time. Most important game of the year is tomorrow. What did you get your degree in? So I graduated with my undergraduate degree in economics and a minor in management. Okay. And how is the uh, how is the ACC tournament different from the rest of the year to you? Well, how does it change things a little bit? I mean, just the format of the tournament is really all it is. You know, we're used to playing best of three series, or, you know, or the midweek games. And, you know, we do get put into pool play. But at the end of the day, the game that we're playing is the most important game. And we've been treating every game like that every game of the year. So it shouldn't feel that much different. In the last couple of years, or I don't know how many years, you haven't done as well in the mm. ACC tournament. If there any rhyme or reason as far, I know you're just looking ahead. But, you know, how does it change? I don't know, the way you go about things or what happens. I mean, our mentality going in isn't going to change. We're going in there to get the job done and to win every game, win every inning, win every pitch. So I, I know that's the mentality of this team. We're winning every pitch. And if not, I mean, if now we're going to pass it on to the next guy. So, I mean, we're ready to go and we're ready to make some noise there this year. And the other Gino, thing, yeah, go ahead. Gino said he wanted you guys to remember how it felt, how you guys finished the season last year as opposed to finishing now kind of on, on a high. How big is it to be on, on a high finishing the season? I mean, it definitely feels great to be, you know, rolling on this hot streak that we're on, finishing the season strong. But at the end of the day, we want to finish in Omaha. We want to finish with a national championship here in Miami. So no matter what we're doing, we're working to get better every single day until that last game of the season. Do these games um, help with, with that, like as far as uh, hosting, let's say, regional, uh, things like that? How much do they help these last few games? I mean, they're, they're really important. We, we know that these games kind of hold our destiny for the future. But um, at the end of the day, it's one game at a time. You go out there, you play your best baseball, and you leave the rest up to the committee. How, how, how big has it been? You, your bullpen has been huge. You've had to use a lot of bullpen this year. Yeah. How, how excited has it been for, exciting for you to be in that role? It's, I mean, it's, it's been really exciting, not just for myself, but I think for the staff as a whole. And, and I was just talking about this with some of the guys yesterday. It's amazing how so many different players have been in different positions. We've had different guys in middle relief, different guys in long relief, different guys at setup, and obviously we have the best closer in the nation. Um, so us having all that experience, I mean, nothing coming our way is something we haven't seen before. You, usually it's tough. Like you grow up, you're a starting pitcher. Now you have to go to bullpen. Some guys don't like it. But the action that you guys have been able to have, what do you think it's done for your bullpen? Like you say. I mean, I, I just think it's it's prepared us, honestly, because once you get into playoff baseball, I mean, anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen come a regional, you know, ACC tournament, even with the format of that. So, you know, guys have stepped up. Guys have been put in a different situation. So, I mean, we're prepared. I mean, you, that, that's what you do all season. You know, you, you go out there, you play your best baseball, you you get put into different situations because when the, light, when the sh lights are shining at their brightest and it matters most, we got to be ready. We know how important pitching is in the postseason, or as you head towards what we know, I know it's always important, but in the postseason it's super important. Um, so the idea that you've had all these great hitters, uh, power hitters, how much does that give you a little security? I mean, it's, it, it definitely provides a sense of comfort knowing that one through nine could probably bop it out of the ballpark the way they have this year at the rate that we're going. But I mean, whoever's on the mound, I mean, we have full confidence in them. and. No matter what the score is, it's 0 0, and your job is to get up there and get the offense in as quick as possible. You had some big saves on the road in North Carolina. This is a team that really struggled on the road in the first half of the season, but you ended the year playing your best baseball on the road. Was there a shift between those first couple of road series to how you ended the year on the road? I mean, the, the beginning of the season when we'd go on the road, I mean, it wasn't our best baseball. We weren't, you know, showing our best, but. I mean, I think that's just the way the season has progressed. If you just look in general, this second half, I mean, you know, we've really turned it up a notch, and rightfully so. This is the time of the year where we really got to get things going. And Gino had told us it was like a month out. He goes, guys, it's time to turn it up a notch. And I feel like ever since then, we really have turned it up a notch. The way you closed last season, um, struggling in the ACC tournament, losing the regional here in Corvio, does so that still sit with you going into the last couple weeks of this season? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, at the end of the day, you look back, and 
the team that went out of this regional ended up winning a national championship. And uh, that's hard to sleep with at night, uh, regardless if you're I – mean, I know Gino tells us all the time, but us as players that we were here last year, we felt it. Um, that's something that's on the back of our minds, and we really want to get back there to break that door down. You guys are about to have a lot of national media coverage at ACC's during regionals. As one of the veterans of this team, what's one thing that you feel the national media should know about this Miami team? I think if, if you were to look at some of our games this year, um, just the fight that we put up every single game. I don't know how many come from behind wins we have this year. I think, it, I mean, it's ridiculous. This offense comes through, the pitching holds it down towards the end. And really, it's just the trust that we have in one another here. It's, you can't compare it to anything else. And on top of that, we're just resilient. We fight. I mean, from pitch one to the last pitch of the game, you're going to see Miami baseball. Compared from last season to this season. A couple more probably. Thank you. Compared to last season to this season, how much do you feel the resiliency has gone up during this game? I mean, I, I, I don't even to go from last season to this season. I think just from the beginning of the season until now, just the fights that we've put up. You look at, we went on the road at Louisville and that Sunday game, we were down and we came back. Um, you know, I, like that was huge for us. And, you know, that kind of showed us, you know, we, we've done it all year. We've done it against some of the best in the country and we're going to continue to do so if we have to, because regardless if we're down 10 in the ninth, I got a really good feeling we'll still come back. Can I ask about two games, I guess, um, one day, the Carolina game. The yeah. double header where you lost on the walk off, had to play two hours later and bounce back, were able to win the series. How big was that for this team? I mean, that was, I mean, that's huge. I, I, I wish I had the words to explain the magnitude that that had on our team as a whole because, I mean, I remember last year in the regional, we lost to Ole Miss. And then, I don't know, it might have been like a couple hours later or 45 minutes later, we bounced back and we had to play Arizona. And I mean, that, that game didn't go our way. So, I mean, that's probably as real life a scenario to a regional as we'll have during the regular season. And we pulled it out, you know. So, I mean, I think if we're preparing for playoff baseball since then, there's nothing that could really stop us when the moment comes. Anything else? Pitch alongside Andrew Walters, two senior relievers in this bullpen, something that's kind of been exhausted at times, but you guys have stepped up and had that versatility. What's been the common thread for you guys to have that success, that high strike to walk ratio between the two people? I got to give him a lot of credit because he's someone, I mean, he's my throwing partner. I've been throwing with him for two years and, you know, from as a player, you almost learn more from each other. Um, and what I've learned from him is just, you got to get ahead, get to strike one, attack the hitter, let him swing. And when you get to two strikes, don't mess around, just go right after him. Hitting's hard enough, and when we're up there, we got a lot of confidence in the stuff that we have. Cool. Thanks, Alec. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. No, thank Thanks. you.